Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have another technique using washi tape. Now I've got these four washi tapes from Funky Fossil Designs. Uh, two were designed by uh, Kim Dello, Dello Designs for Funky Fossil. Uh, the other one was an exclusive to the How to Craft Network that I'm afraid is no longer available. And then that final one is from the Mixed Media uh, Kaleidoscope Collection. Uh, again from Funky Fossil and I've just put them on a piece of scrap card here just so that you can see the pattern. Um, those ones by Dello Designs I think are some of my favourites and I love this text one. I will link as many products as I can in the description box below uh, but I do apologise if some of these products are no longer available. Um, I will do my best as well to link a few alternatives in the description box below as well. Um, so that if you don't have anything similar in your stash, uh, you can see some kind of alternatives that you could use. So I'm going to start by tearing small bits of washi tape off the roll. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. You just want to tear off lots of little small bits and place them randomly on the cardstock. And I'm going to spread out the one pattern uh, as evenly as possible across the page. And then I'm going to do the same with the others as well. But uh, I'm not going to show you the whole process on this little uh, piece of card because I have done a bigger piece earlier uh, so that I can just show you. Uh, but I did just want to show you the process of how I did this. So I'm just tearing it up. And obviously with wider washi tape, remember, you haven't got to use the full width. Just tear off smaller bits, tear it in half, use whatever bits of the pattern that you want to use. Also, because washi tape's translucent, you can layer it over each other and um, you'll get extra variations to the patterns. It adds a really nice texture. Uh, so you don't have to be perfect with this at all. And there you go. You can just see a little close up of how it's starting to look. So I'm just going to bring in the piece that I made earlier. Um, as you can see, you've got all this lovely, vibrant colour and texture. And I've done my best to um, evenly kind of spread out the colours and patterns so that you've got that really kind of patchwork look. Now, Washi tape is adhesive, but it's not a very strong adhesive. So to seal that in, I'm going to bring in my mixed media mat now. This is the Tim Holtz mixed media mat uh, that goes with the glass mat. And I've got some Ranger multimedia mat. Uh, again, you could use any kind of multimedia on this. You could probably just use PVA glue as well. Uh, anything to just seal it in. I like the matte medium because once it's dry, it is completely matte. There's no sheen on, on it and you really would not really tell that there is adhesive over the top of it. Um, but obviously if you prefer a glossy look or a shiny look, then obviously you could use uh, alternative glues. So I'm just using a paintbrush to just evenly spread that all over the cardstock. I wanna make sure that there's no uh, globules of uh, matte medium. I want it to be really thin so it dries quickly. And of course, if you get any brush strokes, you can just brush those out as you're putting it on so that you get a really nice smooth finish. So once I'm happy that I've covered the whole panel with the matte medium, uh, I will just um, show you a close-up view of what that looks like to the camera in a moment so that you can really see the coverage that I've got there. So I'm just going to co cover my matte medium back up. You don't want it to dry out. And then there you go. You can see that um, you can see the sheen of the matte medium at the moment, but once it's dry, it will be completely matte. So I'm going to go and wash my brush and then I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do next. So I've already gone ahead and die cut some of those floral elements from the washi tape cardstock panel. I was using this die set from Sizzix called Floral Blossom by Jen Long. I don't think it's available anymore, but I will link uh, something similar in the description box below. Uh, or if I can find it listed anywhere, I'll link that as well. And I've cut a few of the flowers out of craft cardstock, a few of flowers out of the washi tape panel, and then the center piece of the flowers, the stamen, I've cut in some gold uh, metallic cardstock. Now I'm just bringing in my Sizzix flower sculpting kit. So I've got the foam mat there, and then I've got these couple of styluses uh, with different sized balls on the end, and they just really help you shape the flowers. And I am mainly shaping the washi tape ones from the back because the matte medium wasn't completely dry when I die cut them out. So it was still a little bit tacky and I was a little bit impatient. So <laughs> if you see me sculpting them from the back, that's the reason why. Uh, and then I'm just giving it a little bit of extra dimension with my uh, fingers at the ends, just manipulating those petals a little bit so that they've got a little bit more dimension. And uh, it's just a really easy way of creating a 3D element on your card. And um, yeah, it's something that I really wanna remember to use a little bit more. So as you can see there, I'm also just shaping the 
uh, centers of the flowers as well. And then I'm gonna grab my Nouveau Deluxe glue and I'm just gonna adhere those down. I'm gonna layer them and I'm gonna use Craft First and then Washi and then the Craft Panel and Washi and so on. And then I'll add the two gold center pieces at the end. And I'm just gonna make sure that those are really well adhered. It does just take a minute for the glue to grab. So you don't wanna rush this process. Uh, you wanna make sure that you've got a really good, strong contact with the um, layer underneath. Obviously, because it's got a little bit of dimension, I am using the stylus just to give a little bit of pressure. And so once it's dry, I'm gonna bring in this panel now. This measures five and a half by five and a half. It's white cardstock. And I've just um, added some washi strips. So I've used the same washi tapes uh, I did bring in the other um, Dello Designs one, which is the slightly paler one with the yellow and blue in. And I've just torn strips and kind of just created a bit of a background uh, for which I'm going to um, attach the flower to the front of this card. And as you can see from the close-up shots there, it's got lots of dimension and it's going to make a great focal point on this card. So I'm going to bring in this banner die, which is from Sizzix, and I'm going to use the Altony Heartfelt Sentiments stamp set. This one's got lots of sentiments on. It's really versatile. It is an older stamp set, but if I can find it anywhere, I will link it in the description block, box below. And I've just stamped it in Versafine Onyx Black ink, and I've used an A7 acrylic block from All and Create. So it takes me a while <laughs> whenever I'm making a card to know where to line things up and where I want things. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of moving things around and working out where best I want the flower and the sentiment to go. And then I'm going to bring in the Nouveau Deluxe glue again, and I'm going to add quite a generous amount to the back of this flower, just so that um, I make sure it, it sticks really well. And then I'm going to do the same on the back of the sentiment. So next I'm going to bring in a panel of cardstock that measures five and three quarters squared, and I'm going to create a border for my card panel to go on. And this is another great way of using up your washi tape. Even if the washi tape's quite wide, uh, you can easily just trim it down and actually it means that I use less washi tape in this case because I can trim it that strip down using the long bladed Tim Holtz scissors and then I can still use that other strip to then create the other border on the other side as well. And this is just a great way of making sure that everything on the card uh, matches and another alternative to using coloured cardstock or patterned paper. So you can use your washi tape to create this effect. And so next I'm going to bring in that front panel and I'm just going to adhere that down to the nice border that we've created. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe glue again here and um, I'm just going to make sure that once I've um, added glue to the back of that panel that we can attach it so that we've got a nice even border to the card. And then once I'm happy with that and that that's all nice and even, I'll just wipe away any excess glue and then I'll bring in a panel of craft cardstock. I've created my own homemade card base here. It's just under six by six inches because uh, I used an A4 um, piece of cardstock to create it. And again, I'm just gonna add some Nouveau Deluxe glue to the back of that and then attach it down. Um, it's not quite level at the bottom, so I do just trim off some of the excess craft cardstock. And then um, there's the completed card. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that this has given you some inspiration on how you can use your washi tape. Um, please do let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this video or if you've tried something similar. And please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you'd like to see more from my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.